Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to another spectacular series and we would go through the authentication process using Django and React in this tutorial series from project setup to git setup to backend configuration to JWT access refresh token configuration to building of APIs and private route endpoints. Then we'd start working on the front end using React, set up our project, implement route guards, preserving user information on the browser and pure React hook without any use of Redux. So these are what we'll be covering in this series and this video will be broken down into two parts the front end which will be the one that we're going to use to set up the client side and do everything that we need to do with react and also the back end which would which would be the one where we're going to be creating the apis using django and django rest framework it will really mean the world to me if you like this video left a comment and thought about subscribing additionally take a look at the links in the description one of them such as the django youtube clone course may actually assist you in becoming a professional developer so without any further ado let's go ahead and get Get started. So just like I've said in the introduction, we're going to be building those projects using Django, Django REST framework and React. And trust me, if you don't have any knowledge about React or any knowledge about Django or Django REST framework, I'm going to hold your hands and take you from the very, very basic and beginning of Django and Django REST framework to an intermediate level in Django, Django REST framework and React. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and spin up the React and Django server so that we can actually see everything working here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the JWT authentication folder here and my visual studio code and i'm going to be providing all those files to you guys for free just check out my github repo and you can download it from there so um we have this if you come over here to to this other i have this authentication front end templates that i'm also going to give you guys that's what you're going to be using in this tutorial so i'll make sure to leave all this in the links in the description okay so um over here, as you can see, I've opened up my Visual Studio code. I'm just going to go ahead and expand this. And this really seems too big. I'm, I'll just reduce it a bit. But don't worry, during the tutorials, we actually had this on, on Zoom in mode like this. So you guys can actually see everything that's going on. So I'm going to see the into the front end. The front end is the part of the tutorial which holds the React um, section of the course and everything that we're going to be doing with React. And the back end is the one that that holds the Django, Django REST framework um, side of things. So for the React, I'm simply going to hit npm start. Then this is going to go ahead and start spinning up a new server for React. As you can see, this is running over here. And while that's also running, I want to go ahead and create a new Django command. And um, I could just put this side by side so we can see. Okay, as you can see, that's opening up React already. So I could just put this side by side so we can see everything that's going on. My React is starting the development server. And while that's still going, I'm going to go ahead and CD into back end. So I CD into back end, and that's going to help me run Python manage py run server. So just like you guys already know, Python manage py run server is pretty much going to go ahead and spin up the Django server, while npm start is going to go ahead and spin up the React server. Okay, there you go. My Django server is running now. If I come over here and I'm going to close this off, what do you notice? We have this really, really basic, good looking page over here. So right now, a user is not logged in. As you can see, that's why we don't have um, any we don't have like the logouts or the other buttons that always show up when a user is logged in but instead we have login and register so right now if we hit the login button as you can see we get to this page even without refreshing the page and everything was really fast and awesome so we have this um nice looking login page over here i've created for you guys that we could use to actually um test run everything that we're going to be doing in this project so we have this login page over here we also have this register page over here and we have this home page okay so the first thing that we're going to do as usual is just go ahead and create a new user but before we do that what i want to do is go ahead and log into my django admin so i'm just going to come over here come over to port 8000 pipe django admin and i'm just going to go ahead and log into my django admin so i have already created a super user it's it's left to you to go um, ahead and create a super user from your Django terminal. Just run Python manage the py create super user, fill in all the details and information, and we're gonna go ahead and create a super user for free. 
so in this tutorial we actually added the functionality where users are going to be able to log in with their email and password so when you come over to react as you can see over here while creating an account for a user we, we ask for their email we ask for their username we ask for their password and we ask them to confirm their password also if you check out the login page you can see that we are asking them to log in using their email address and their password and then not doing is the default way that Django usually um, do it using username but instead we are doing it using email address to actually make things more you know more professional and modern so I think that's it I'm just gonna go ahead and log into my Django admin now and hit the login button so as you can see I'm logged into my Django admin and we're also going to be using Jasmine to style up our our Django admin so everything looks really really nice and I'm also going to go ahead and paste in my jasmine code so i have actually written a custom jasmine code that's that helps style my you know style all my dashboard that way so i'm just going to grab this now and i'm going to put it in the snippet so if for any reason you're looking for the jasmine code this is it over here so jasmine dashboard code jasmine dashboard code this is it over here all you just need to do is just copy this code and paste it in your settings.py and your dashboard is going to it's gonna start looking like mine okay so now we have this I'm gonna come over to user and this is our database over here or we can say this is where we can see things that are in our database so as you can see we've got um, a couple of users over here um, about five users or so we can go ahead and delete the ones that we don't want these are the users that we have so what I want to do now is I'm just gonna come over here come over to register now and I'm gonna try creating a new user so let's say this is the user's email and let's say we want to call their username I don't know let's just say Karen <coughs> And for the email, let's say I want to name them Karen at, I don't know, let's say gmail.com, but you can still use mailnet.com. And if for any reason you need this extension that I'm using over here, it's called Form Filler. Okay, so you can just go ahead and download the extension. So we fill in their email, their username, their password one, their password two, and hit register. What do you notice? This automatically registers the user and says registration successful, login now. So it redirects back to the login page. And right now, if we come over to the Django admin and refresh, what do you notice we have a new user saved in the database we have if you open this up now you can see their password is already hashed you can see their username you can see their email so we are actually communicating from react to django and everything is working perfectly well okay so right now i'm gonna go ahead and try logging in with um the accounts that we just created now so remember it's current at gmail.com with the password testing three to one so testing three to one now let's start off by making a mistake over here or let's say we want to log in with um actually a wrong email address that doesn't exist and we hit login now what you notice it says username or password does not exist so actually error checks also works here okay so if for any reason you're trying to log in with um an information that doesn't exist then it's not going to work as you can see so right now let's go ahead and actually log in with a correct information i'm going to put my password test in three to one and then log in what do you notice it says login successful and it redirects us back to the home page okay so it's totally up to you where you want to redirect them to you can also redirect them to the dashboard page it's just totally up to you so right now we can come over to the dashboard page and um we can see a couple of things as you can see congratulations your api just responded to a post request we text hello buddy and what do you notice it actually calls the name of the logged in user so i've actually built this project in a way that you can even go ahead and put in the image of the user that just created an account over here and everything have been set up in this project it's just that i didn't actually see any cool place to add up the image but there is already a functionality to add up the image okay just like we already have this name over here we have all this um congratulations api just responded to this we have this text that's coming from the back end that's how everything have already been set up and most importantly users can also go ahead head and log out so once i hit the logout button what do you notice you have been logged out then we get back to the login page and if for any reason we try accessing those pages that are already um you know that needs you know like some like a private router that is authenticated as you can see it's not going to allow us but instead it's going to push us back to the login page so if for any reason we're trying to access the dashboard and the dashboard must be accessed if only a user is logged in what do you notice it pushes us back to the login page so if the user doesn't have an account they can go ahead and create a new account and um i also go ahead and log in now so um this application actually works using jwt authentication which means we authenticate using jwt in in django um api 
and at the front end we save the user information on the local storage and that's one of the best and modern ways that you can do authentication right now so if i open this up and um fill all this information in come over to my application over here come over to local storage as you can see i don't have anything over here i just have this local storage that helps me maintain desktop stuff so now if i log in what do you notice we automatically have the auth tokens in here okay so those auth tokens is just what helps us grab the user that logs in okay so if i just go ahead and copy this then come over to jwt.io so jwt.io is pretty much a tool that we're going to be using in this tutorial to the code um to the code the refresh and the access token and if you don't know what the refresh and access token are don't worry we're going to be explaining this in the in this tutorial that's pretty much the tokens where we store users information in okay so we have a jwt token right if i paste that jwt token here what do you notice i guess the user id i guess the full name but right now he doesn't have any full name i guess the username i guess the email i get the bio i get the image and i guess if the user is verified or not so this is perfectly working as we expect it to right now that we are logged in if we try accessing the dashboard page again what you notice right now we can come over to the dashboard page successfully so i think that's pretty much it everything is working perfectly well i'm also going to be showing you guys how to implement sweet alerts so that if we log in we can see this really responsive alert thing show up over here if we come over to register and try creating a new user and um well, let's say we just put in their username as something and hit register we can see the sweet alert thing showing up over here so i think that's what we're going to be creating in this tutorial and for any reason you might be asking in django what kind of um code we will be writing would it be the function based view or would it be the class based view so i'm just quickly gonna go ahead and hop into my django api then views and as you can see I'm, I'm also gonna reduce this it seems really big for now so if you take a close look over here then you're gonna see that we are writing class based views right as you can see we wrote class based views over here we also wrote class based view over here and i also changed things up and i wrote a function based view so in this tutorial we're going to be mixing things up with function based view and class based view and if you even take a close look at this code then you see that this is not even much this is just a very short code in the views and if you come over to the urls as you can see very short code in the urls and the serializer also a very short code but, but with this short precise and simple code we actually built out a fully functional authentication system using django react jwt and django rest framework so that's what we're going to be doing in this video do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it would really mean the world to me and also i'd highly recommend that you check out the link in the description below some of them might actually help you become a professional developer like the django um youtube clone course okay so do make sure to check them out and yeah that's gonna be it so until the next video mad love peace out